welcome to Excel Maven Expert Series session number two. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build one of my favorite charts. Um, I like to call it the gauge chart. Um, here's an example of what we're going to be building. It's basically a pie chart on steroids. Um, so let's take a look. Um, I'm going to create a new tab. We'll start from scratch. And uh, for this type of chart, it's really important to lay out the data um, in the right way and in a way that makes sense. So for this example, I'm going to talk about um, budget and spend, but you can really use any variables here uh, that add up to 100%. So um, let's say your budget is 10,000. Spend is how much you've spent so far. Um, why don't we just put 3,500 um, to start. And then percent spent is just going to be a fraction of your budget that you've spent. I'm going to format this as a percentage. Um, now we're going to fill in the chart source data. And so the first piece of our data for the chart is going to be 50%. And the reason we want one piece of the pie to be 50% is that we're building a gauge chart that basically is only using half of a pie. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of set that 50%, um, make the fill color white so you can't see it, and then what we'll be left with is uh, the top half of it that looks like a gauge. Um, the next piece here is going to be kind of capturing the percent spent. So to do that, instead of just doing cell C2, we want to do half of that because again, we're only working with half of the pie. Um, again, format it as a percentage. Last but not least, I'm just going to take the difference, A5 minus A6. This will give us the percent of budget that we have not spent yet. So starting with that, let's select that data. We're going to insert a pie chart, 2D pie. Uh, I want to get rid of my title, don't need a legend. If I right click here, format the chart area, uh, what I'll just do is uh, no fill, no border. And what I want to do on this entire sheet is just want to get rid of the grid lines just because I want a nice clean white background. Um, so here's the starting point. First thing I want to do, if I right click, um, I can select format data series. And I can change this angle of first slice. As you can see, that's essentially just rotating the pie. So I want to angle it 90 degrees so that the 50% piece is on the bottom. Now if I can just select only that piece, I'm going to go into the fill effects and I want to do a solid white fill. You can also do no fill since it has a, a white background anyway, but uh, it accomplishes the same thing. Now you can choose whatever colors you want. Keep in mind this first piece is the percent spent. And the second piece is the percent not spent. Um, so what I like to do is a solid fill with kind of a nice dark blue, and then the not spent, I do kind of a lighter shade of blue here. Um, so that's the first piece, and it actually doesn't look bad just like that. If you kind of change these numbers around, you can see um, how the chart updates on its own. It looks kind of like a, a speedometer or gauge, uh, hence the name. Uh, next piece that I want to add is uh, a segmented chart behind it, split into deciles. So segmented uh, chart. Basically what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put 5% and repeat that 10 times. And so the total of that should equal 50%. And then in the row right beneath that, I'm going to put 50%. You'll see why I'm going to do this in a second. So if I select all that data, insert another pie chart, here's what that's going to look like. I'm going to get rid of the title, get rid of the legend again. Oops, I got rid of the whole thing. Get rid of the legend. Format the chart area. Again, I'm going to do no fill, no line. Um, and once again, I'm going to change the angle of the first slice. Um, and I got to go all the way around to 270 in this case to get it to lie flat with my 
50% piece on the bottom. And once I'm there, I can do the same thing. I'll fill this with white. And now, you know, this is optional, but I think it adds a nice little effect. Um, this is basically just a visual aid to show uh, the different deciles that your value falls into. So I like doing a nice kind of gradient from green to red, um, where in this case, if you've spent a small portion of your budget, you're still in the green. If you've spent a larger amount, you're going to get into the red. Um, so to do that, I'm going to select my first slice, solid fill. I'm going to go into more colors just because it gives me some easier options to work with and custom and choose a nice green and go very dark with it. So this is going to be my first uh, color from which I'll base my other shades on. So now if I select the next slice, solid fill, more colors. Now I'm just going to drag this up a bit. It gives me a slightly lighter shade of the same green. And I will just repeat this process. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of this chart a bit. We're going to go into page layout, send to back, because we want this one behind. And we're just going to drag it into a nice position behind the chart that we've already created. Boom, there you go. Um, so again, you can call it quits there if that's good enough. Uh, another thing that I like to do is insert some text boxes to show um, the percents. There you go. Um, so let's test it out again. So if your spend was uh, 7,500, boom, that's 75%. If your spend was uh, 4,672, there you go. And then if you want to add some kind of final bells and whistles, one thing that I also like to do is a, um, a gradient fill. You can change the type to radial and the direction to the lower corner. So that looks kind of nice. You can change uh, to a gradient fill for this piece as well. Uh, radial, use this corner. Um, and I want to make this one a little bit darker just so that it stands out a bit more. So you can actually customize all these different uh, features here. Um, last but not least, this is obviously uh, not critical, but you can insert a little shape to kind of give it a uh, almost like a button, which looks kind of nice. So let's give it a white fill, no line, and then we'll do some 3D effects. So we'll give it a little shadow effect, and then in the 3D format, Give it a little bevel and boom, voila, you've got yourself uh, a nice little gauge chart. Um, as always, shoot me any questions you have in the comments um, and please tune in to uh, the next, next session, session three, uh, which is all about building custom scrolling charts without using any VBA. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys soon.